Hello, my crafty cuties. What are my lovelies doing today? Um, trying another camera angle, trying something different. Actually, I think this one might work. We shall see, unless my arm and hands are gonna be in the way. So, we are gonna test it out, and we are going to see how this works. I've had a couple people ask what machine I use. I use a Bernina 770QE+. Plus. I love, love, love my Bernina. I wanted one of these like my whole entire life. I wanted one. And I finally broke down when they were having, uh, they, they have their 0% interest several times a year. So I finally broke down and I went and got me one. And I have not, not regretted, regretted the decision, but it took me and her a little while to get used to one another. So, I'm recording a video. My husband's looking at me like I lost my mind. <laughs> oh. So, I am working on my Bumbles and Blooms quilt for my friend. And I am snowballing the corner. Of, this is going to be flowers when it's done. So, I have to snowball each corner. Like this. And I'm hoping I'm not going to hit you guys. I may have to raise it up just a little bit, but I'll do that when I stop the camera for for whatever reason, you know. So, here we go. I did not square up these blocks before I started. I probably should have, you can see right here where this one is, is off, but I didn't. And we're on a roll now. <laughs> huh. I think it'd be better to wait and square it up when I am done. I was going to clip off this one and show you the the madness, the reason behind my madness. Let me clip this one off. There we go. Okay, so when I'm snowballing things, I don't sew right on the line that I draw. I sew off to the side. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see where I've sewn over to the side of it? And yes, I sew crooked. I, I can't help it. And the reason is, is when I fold that back like that, it matches perfectly. See how nice and square that is? So that's the reason behind that. I never sew directly on my line. I always stitch just a little bit, usually just the thread width. You can see where I got a little carried away on there. So there is a reason behind the madness for doing that. And I don't... So I was gonna sew a few of these. Come on, don't eat it. Don't eat it, girl. And it may be a Bernina, but it will still eat my fabric if I'm not careful. So I need 11. I'm going to have more than 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then the other one over there is 11. Okay, yeah. I have the exact amount that I need. Just checking here. So what has everyone been doing today? It's Sunday. Today is, is Sunday afternoon at 1.49 p.m. here in the great state of Arkansas. And I, I got way over on that one. But that's okay. I'm going to trim it up. Um, I, we went up to my daughter's they're move they they're moving so i went up and got a bed she doesn't have room for it to take to take with her but i have a spare bedroom for my granddaughter that needed a bed so that it worked out perfectly so we went up there this morning picked up the bed uh come back got it to got it uh put together i've got to order comforter 
think I have a sh some sheets that I fit in. I think I do. So we did that this morning. Then we came home and um, I quilted a quilt that I want to go on my kitchen table. I put quilts on my kitchen table, just like you would put placemats or whatever on your kitchen table. I put quilts on my table. Because most of my quilts are all hand stitched. Hand stitched, machine stitched. <laughs> Almost all of my quilts are machine stitched and quilted, machine quilted. So they do, they hold up excellent. They hold up really well to using them on my kitchen table. And my kitchen table, it's a wooden table, and these are not the sharpest scissors in the world. It's a wooden table, and me and my daughter used to do our nails on the table. Well, we would spill acetone on the table. So, can y'all see? Oh yeah, y'all can, can see. I am going to try to move you guys up just a little. There you go, now you have now you have, there we go. Hopefully that didn't make anybody drunk, sick, you know, whatever. Anyway, me and Michelle used to do our uh, nails at the kitchen table all the time. And um, I'm not saving those little bitty pieces. I have a cup full to use right here. So I'm not gonna save them. And we would spill acetone on the table so it's spotty. The table is very spotty where we took the finish off of it with acetone. So I just make really pretty quilts to cover my table. I'm pushing down on that and it's kind of flexing, isn't it? My table's flexing. So anyway, I did get the quilt finished. It's not, and I did some, I'm a stippler, like I'm the queen of stippling when it comes to machine quilting. I have a, a mid-arm, long arm. I do have a long arm. It's a moxie. God, I love my moxie. So, uh, and like stipple, that's normally what I all I ever do is just stipple on my quilts of some kind or other. Well, I did a few, I thought I'd try a few random patterns. You know, because this is just a quilt that's gonna go on my kitchen table. It's no big deal. It's my quilt and, you know, it's not gonna be a big deal. And uh, put this back up under here. Let's give these a press. I know you can't see the, the iron. So anyway, I got that done just actually finished it. Then my daughter and her uh, fiance came back by just a second ago. They stopped back by and uh, visited with them for a few minutes. Oh, and in between times, like the quilting and when they came back by, I made lasagna. I went ahead and cooked some lasagna. Sure did. Went ahead and got that done. Now I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna trim this off. If you can see where that's just a little over. See where that's just a little over? I'm gonna, I will trim this up. So, I mean, I've been busy today. Busy, wheezy, wheezy. Busy, wheezy, wheezy. And I cleaned house this morning and I did the sheets. Today is sheet day. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a person who is very structured. I have to have, I'm gonna have to move these over. I'm very, very structured. Like certain days I do this, certain days I do that. And I guess you, am I obsessive compulsive? Is that what I am? I just, I just, and I don't particularly care for change. Don't like change. <coughs> But I do, I'm very, very structured. So, so I did the sheets, I need to go make the bed. I haven't got the bed made yet. And um, I haven't seen my mom or my dad today. Usually they're, they're over here visiting. They just live right across the street. I haven't, uh, I haven't been over. I said it's, we've been busy. 
Can I set a timer? I did not. I'm gonna set a timer for about 30 minutes. <clears throat> I think I sucked a piece of fuzz down my throat. But it, and it's been a beautiful, gorgeous day here. Gorgeous. It's like 80 something degrees outside and it has just been absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, sometimes I get right on the line. I do try to use my seam guide. And I have the door open here in my in my sewing room. So you probably hear my wind chimes. They're going crazy. It is so sick. It may be nice and warm. It is nice and warm. And that wind is blow wind always blows here. Like it's never still. I'm originally from Alabama, born and raised in Alabama, originally from there. And during the summer, like the dog days of summer, there'll be no wind. You won't, you won't have, like it'll be still. Here, it's never still. There's always a breeze blowing. Even in the heat of the summer. does make it quite bearable during the summer because it gets so hot here, so humid. It's the only place I've ever seen. It'll be 100% humidity, not a cloud in the sky. It'll be just miserable hot. Just it's so miserable. There's another one there. There we go. Okay, move these over. Actually, don't really need that one. That's the present one I do have. I usually use this one. Bella's my Bell Bell's out here with me. Bella's my dog. She's laying in the floor. She's getting so old. I've noticed that she getting up and down, you know, it's getting tough for her to get up and down. So it's gonna break my heart because she she's very old. Just very old. And I know, you know, I know it's coming. I know. But we're not gonna talk about that right now. But anyway, Bell Bell's in here with me. Grayson the cat is out philandering somewhere. He was in earlier and he got some catnip, some treat that has catnip in it. So I'm sure he's out um, terrorizing something, a bird, mouse, whatever. No, I'm sure he's out creating mischief and mayhem because that is what Grayson does. So we got all of those now. Take and throw those away. I'm not keeping those and I can't get a one and a half inch square out of them either.
see how our little flower is taking shape. I probably are going to have to mark some more of these. And I'm not gonna like keep you on camera to do that. We'll sew something else while we're, while we're doing this. So is anyone doing the moonbeams quilt along with me? Is anybody doing that sew along with me? Oh, I just fell in love with that with that quilt kit. I ordered the kit, if, if you're just tuning in. Um, I'm sewing along with the Fat Quarter Shop as they're doing the Moon Beams Charity Quilt Along. It supports Make-A-Wish Foundation, um, the one that's local there to them in, in Texas. But I fell in love with that fabric. I just, I just fell in love with the fabric and the pattern. And I've never ordered a quilt kit. Whoops, a quilt kit before. Scoot my pedal over. Um, and now I'm kind of addicted to kits. <laughs> when I got that one in. So I've ordered a couple different kits that that um, I'm going to be doing a watch me sew or whatever you want to call it. Um, won't necessarily, I don't guess, be a sew long because I don't know if the kits are available anymore and I don't know when I'll get to it. I've got to finish up these projects before. Anyway, I might get, we might get one started before too much longer. Not start one. I bought a kit from Missouri Star Quilt Company. They have this thing about peacocks lately. So, and it's a peacock. I fell absolutely in love with this quilt. It's, it's a wall hanging, you know, it's not very big. And it's a panel. So, I want to make that peacock quilt to go on the wall in our bedroom. I hang quilts. I love putting quilts up, you know, using them to decorate with. Having, you know, it's your, my passion, my hobby, it's what I love doing. So I usually decorate everywhere with them. One shot. Oh, y'all, y'all can hold off and let me do one, one of these. Yeah, let's get us one. I'm just drawing a line, corner to corner. Come here. If I can grab the. And this is just a Frisian fine liner erasable. I bought the these in a set um, from Amazon. There was like a, I got a whole pack, different colors, and uh, that's that's where those came from, Amazon. I've had them for a long, long time. They've lasted for years. I've had, like I said, I've had them for for quite a while. So now, let me throw that one away. That was where I was testing something. She she sews very pretty, trust me. Don't let that deter you. <laughs> oh. But I do love my sewing machine. I love my girl. Me and her spend a lot of time together. corner to snowball. I may stop the camera and go ahead and snowball those few or cut the line, do the lines. 
instead of letting you sit here and watch me draw a line. You know, if you don't want to sit here and watch me draw a line. I don't think you do anyway. And that's Belly, tappy, tappy, tappy. That's Miss Belly, tappy, tappy, tappy. She needs her nails trimmed and I dread it because you would think the end of the world had come. The sun stopped shining, the birds stopped singing, you know, it, it's, it's a catastrophe. It, it's horrid. She's so dramatic. For a dog, she is so dr I would expect that out of a cat. But for a dog, Lord have mercy, is she dramatic. And putting the flea medicine on her, you know, the stuff that goes between the shoulder blades, oh my word. Oh my word. It's just as bad. It's horrid. She's horrible with stuff like that. Chunk those in there. Okay, let me give these a press. pause the camera and I'm going to pause my watch, my timer, and I'm going to draw a line on these and I'll be right back. Okay, that didn't take just a second. That didn't take long at all. So now, oh, it took more than a second, but you know what I mean. I am Bella, settle down. You're, you're prancing. She's just prancing. That's what we call it. When you're using your seam guide, I try to line my square up here where it's square. And then place it. And I'm doing that because of the way I'm having to see it. It's putting pressure on the side of my foot. And then I like to take a stitch or two and then line this up with this right here. And I keep my eye following this line right here as I move, as the fabric moves forward. I try to keep my eye on that and not necessarily on the needle, but on as my fabric moves forward. Does it, does it help? Hopefully it helps. I don't know. It's just what I found works best for me. Well, you know, we all get into the groove and we all find out what works for us. There's no right or wrong way to do anything. In my opinion, there's your way. There's, it's not right, it's not wrong, it's your way. And again, I, there's no quilt police out there that's going to come knock on your door and take you to jail because you're not using your seam guide right or you're not sewing a scant fourth of an inch. I hate quarter inch. I'm not. <sighs> but anyway, I'm so used to sewing it now. I sew everything with a quarter of an inch. Dresses, skirts, it doesn't matter. I just remember to, you know, that I'm going to take a quarter of an inch seam. that in 
into my sewing projects when I'm sewing. I have seen some nasty comments and people get really ugly with people, you know, because they do things a different way. It's, yeah, it's not my way or the highway. It's not how I am. We are each unique, every one of us. Oh, that's it. So I did have one extra one, which we're, it's not actually extra. We have some other blocks that we have to do right here. Oh, I forgot to start the timer back. It's okay, I can look on here. It's only been three minutes, okay. So we have these that we have to do so we can get these started. I'm gonna go ahead and put one under the foot so we can cut these off. Okay, let me just set these off to the side again for a second. And then my lap, use my lap a lot. Can't remember when I didn't have a lap. <laughs> oh. Perfect. Perfection. Probably couldn't see because my hand was in the way. Or close enough to perfect for me. How about that? So I have a ton. Well, it's not a ton, but it's a lot. I have a lot of batting scraps and a and a fair amount of scraps that I've been thinking quilt as you go project of some kind. Yes, I have been. I've been thinking about it. I sure have been. I'm thinking about what could I do as a quilt as you go project. Oh, I'm getting stuffy all of a sudden to use up some of those scraps. So, anyway, been thinking about doing some kind of sew along with that too. Don't know exactly what though at the present moment. water it's not steaming for a long time I didn't use steam I had gotten um, I wasn't using it at all and um, it's funny my quilt blocks it wasn't were not laying as flat as I wanted them to lay. So I have recently went back and started using steam again. Now I starch my fabrics most of the time. Even pre-cuts, I starch my fabrics. Whoops. And they t that takes care of any shrinkage. Because shrinkage does happen. what my husband is sawing. That's him. If you can hear that, that's my husband. Sitting wonky or something's making my back hurt. There we go. Let's go. 
Move it up a little closer. very important that you make sure and have good posture while you're sewing. Don't hunch or, you know, slouch or try to sit straight and back in your chair. Anyway, good posture. Make your back hurt. It won't hurt your back. And you'll be, at the end of the day, you'll be like, oh gosh, my back is killing me. And you'll be like, hmm, you know, I sit kind of wonky today. I don't like sewing where you just see a lot of people do it a lot of people do it where you just take and you slide your fabric up under there well it's gonna grab this bottom fabric before it grabs your top and it's gonna pull it off I don't do that I use my freehand system and I talked about this uh, on one of the other videos I use my freehand system it's oh you can't see it it's right here it's this metal looking bar looking thing and, um, okay, those are my centers. Okay, I think I still need all of these. These are not all done. To lift my foot, put my fabric under my foot, and then sew. You will get much, much better. Oh, am I boo-booing? No, I'm not boo-booing. I was thinking. Sorry, guys. I was thinking. No, I'm not boo-booing. Um, you will get much, much better results. Use your free hand system. It's there for a reason. You have it for a reason. And once you get used to using it, you'll be wonder. You're going to wonder how in the world you ever sewed without it. Cause it is amazing. I'm getting stuffy. Boy, I hope I'm not getting sick. That's allergies, I'm sure. I'm trying to remember if I took my Flonase this morning. Don't think I did. Do not think I did. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Pretty, pretty sure I didn't. When I got the door open and the neighbor's been mowing and I've been in and out. Those need extra put on them. Okay, those need one more white. These are done. They just need pressing. Perfect. Okay, I'll just set that over there for the moment. I'm gonna go ahead and press these. And I think we are going to be ready to start putting together our flowers.
almost knocked my iron off. Let me put some water in my iron. Give a second. Let me give her a top off. I use distilled water in my iron. I have one of the Alessio, is that how you say it? Alessio, that, you know, they go up and down by themselves. Love it. Um, before I put water in this, I'm gonna find a cup because I'm gonna spill that everywhere. Bear with me, one moment. It's just right here. Just right here. Just a little cup, just a little cup to put some water in because it's a full gallon of distilled water. And you're probably not supposed to use distilled water in these irons, I do believe. I thought there was something on the thing that said not to, but we have really, really hard water here. Like real, it's really bad. And um, I'm using distilled water in my iron. I mean, those things aren't cheap, they're expensive. They are super expensive, so, you know. And I have dropped her, I have. Just so you know, I'm not throw off the ironing board, and and it doesn't sit up like a like a, one of the old iron shoes. Yeah, yeah, I have. I've knocked it off. Can y'all still see? Okay. So I think I really like this camera, this angle setup. I may adjust it, sh jimmy it up just a little bit more. But I think I'm onto something. It's kind of crooked. Do y'all do y'all feel kind of crooked? Do y'all feel kind of crooked? I don't know. Is that better? Jiggly wiggly, huggly pugglies, wiggly wigglies. But I think I may have finally, and I can look. I can look over to see if you can see. So I may have finally, finally figured it out. I'm not, I'm not a video creator, guys. I do this out of pure fun because I love to quilt, love to sew, love to make things. And uh, here comes the husband in again. That one's off, isn't it? But that'd be all right. We're gonna trim it up anyway. We are going. I hope my dad hasn't got too hot. He went down to a like a little farmer's market thing to sell today. And I hope he hasn't got too hot. Hey, do you think your dad's okay? He hasn't gotten too hot? Yeah, I've already talked to him once. Oh, okay, you have? Okay. Huh? Okay. All right. the stitching. All right, so I'm going to flop all those up there, set that back there, give these a quick press. fabric. 
hot fabric. <laughs> I do love that about that iron. Whew, you get hot fabric. All right, so now we are taking these, and I was trying, like this one is not, I hear Grayson, here comes, okay, these are like, there's no rhyme or reason. What, buddy? Oh, my goodness. Can y'all hear the baby? Him is such a baby. Yes, him is. Him is such a baby. Yes, him is. It's a wonder he don't get mad at me, because I... I got, here he comes. What, buddy? What, buddy? What is it, buddy? Well, what? Tell mama about it. And there he goes. I don't know if y'all can see him or not. But there he goes. It's a wonder he doesn't get mad at me because I make fun of him all the time. He's wanting wet food. I can tell you what he's wanting. He is wanting wet food and it is not time for wet food. We, we, are on a, we have a schedule because my husband and I both work and wet food is around 4.30-ish. Some time around in there. That's wet food time. He knows it's too early. And he thinks if he nags... Ooh, I didn't get that iron too good, did I? And he thinks if he nags... He can get wet food sooner. Oh, and he tries to con us both. Like, sometimes if I beat Jimmy home, I'll go ahead and give him his wet food. And then, normally, Jimmy's home before me. Normally. And Jimmy's my husband, by the way. If you're just tuning in, my husband's name is Jimmy. So, anyway, Grayson tries to con us. Most of the time, Jimmy's home before me, and he gives Grayson his wet food. Occasionally, I'm home before Jimmy. And I'll give Grace and his wet food when I get home. I get home later, so of course, you know, it's later before he gets fed. Well, when Jimmy gets home, he tries to con Daddy out of wet food. He's a little con artist. I'm telling you. He is a little con artist. Ain't you, big man? He's laying over here on the floor asleep. He usually sleeps on our bed all day, and I think he prowls all night if you want want to personally know what I think because he's an indoor he's an indoor outdoor cat he doesn't once he saw Bella use the dog doggy door is amazing how smart animals are I, I'm always amazed I could pin these to make sure that I am getting them lined up because I, I do believe some of them are not lining up um it's just amazing how smart animals are. He watched Bella. He had a brother. We had Charlie. We had Grayson and Charlie. Well, Charlie, he, he passed away. And that was hard. I love, I love Grayson, don't get me wrong. But me and Charlie just had a special bond. And um, anyway, they watched Bella go in and out the doggy door. And they learned how to go in and out the doggy door. And there was no keeping them in at that point in time. There, there's just, you know, without taking the doggy door out. And I can't take the doggy door out. Because Bella, she's very, very old. And she has to be able to go in and out. Because she has accidents if she can't get out. And, um, so I can't take the doggy door out. Once my Bella passes, then... We're going to take the doggy door down, and then I don't know what Mr. Grayson is going to do because he's not going to be able to get out and prowl because I don't want anything to happen to my Grayson bug. He has my little buddies. He is my little buddies. I'm going to try lining that up like that.
And yes, Grayson has plenty of kibble. I just wanted to clarify that. He has plenty of kibble. He has kibble out all day. He can go eat whenever he wants to. He's just, he's being so dramatic. He's just being dramatic. He's being really sweet right now. He's laying, he's laying down. Him teeping, him a teepee baby. Yeah, him in, it's him a teepee baby boy. Press these. Oh yeah, I got some steam going now. Almost done. Right. How long have we been going? Oh, 25 minutes. We're gonna, we're gonna finish this up. And Bella's really jealous of the cat. She's standing here. Now the cat was in the floor asleep. Hey, Bella, stop. And she woke him up. Sorry, I had to take a drink. Remember, hydration. Stay hydrated. Did I sew that right? Yes. I was like, oh crap. What did I just do? But Bella is very, very jealous of the cat. Because it's been just her. Just We've only had Grace in a year. We just got him last spring. Him and his brother, Charlie. Oh, my gosh. They were so funny when they were little. They were so funny. I've never had cats before. And cats are so stinking funny. They are just so funny. And they were so afraid of Bella, you know. And Bella's, she, she's a big softy when it comes to babies, but once they grow up, she, she gets kind of jealous. She gets, she's a Miss, miss Jealous Pot. Got some of these with the same Duma Fletchies. I don't think I'm going to have enough of these. I'm going to have to make some more. Grayson's up on the cutting table where Bella can't get to him. <laughs> I always have to remember to close. Oh, I close my rotary blades anyway, but uh, my Martelli. Oh my gosh, if you haven't used a Martelli, I think I'm saying the name right, rotary cutter, you need to go try one. They are phenomenal. 
I keep it on my cutting table because I cut way more fabric on my cutting table than I cut here at my machine. Um, I think I've showed it before in some of the older videos. It is amazing. Whoop, I'm putting it on the wrong way. Y'all are hollering at me. I heard you. I heard you. It reduces like carpal tunnel. I mean, we put a lot of strain and pressure on our wrists and hands when we're using, especially when you're cutting a lot of yardage, a lot of yardage, and uh, it's amazing. I love it. After I got used to using it, we'll never go back. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna have to make a couple more of these little sets. Yep, I think I'm too short. these and I need two more so let's cut I'm gonna cut down these are bigger I think these are two and a half by two and a half I'm pretty sure yeah two and a half by <coughs> two and a half yeah all right so let me trim let's see if we can trim them both at the same time I can get them all lined up. There we go. So let's do two and a half. Bye. Two and a half. One, two, and then that line is the half. Yeah, there we go. All right. It'll be close enough, won't it? It'll be close enough, and then we'll press. promise you I pressed this fabric. I know that looks wrinkled. <laughs> it is wrinkled. It doesn't just look it. But I did press this fabric. I'm going to cut these off. Separate. press these. I'm just going to go ahead and put them on here and then I'll press them um, all at the same time. It's probably not the smartest move to make, but it's what we're doing. 
Again, no quilt police. No such thing. And this finishes the flowers. We're ready to put the flowers with the stems and the leaves. That finishes this. So when I get these sewed, I'm gonna press them and call it a day and um, might walk down and see what the hubs is doing. Go aggravate him for like two seconds. See right there? Can y'all see that? Where it's off right there? I'm not going to worry about it, honestly. Let me press these and give y'all a look what it looks like. Again, I'm sewing this quilt out of Lori Holt's uh, Vintage Farm Girl 2. That's what the, these are the happy flowers block. That's what the block is. It's the happy flowers block. And I'll have to square these up. Okay. And then that, let me see if I can zoom you out. Can I zoom? Nope, that's the end. There we go. There we go. That's what the little block looks like. So we have that block, and then we have this block. And then they go together with a stem and a leaf side by side. And here's what that looks like. Can y'all see that? And then these are the stems and the leaves right here. I'm just using the same fabric um, for all of it. And I'll have to trim these up before I can put them together. Okay, I'm going to um, call it a day right here. Grayson is overlaying on my other stuff. Yes, he is. He's such a bad kitty. All right, guys. I will talk to you later. And in between time, you have a fabulous, fabulous day. And have a great week ahead, and I will see you back here soon. Bye for now.